What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. We obviously are doing very very well with our invasion of the US. We've obviously taken over most of Alaska but we are going to be moving into Canada sometime soon. It looks like none of our actual divisions are going the right way and I don't like that. Um, why are they still going this way? I don't understand. Are these the right... Where did these guys come from? Yeah, they're all... All 48 of these, uh, you know, Japanese troops should all be heading this way. It says 2 and it says 46. But yet they still want to go to western um, Alaska, which I find odd. Anyway, as we accumulate more and more experience, uh, I, in 8 days I probably am going to get motorized infantry. Um, excuse me, I do want to get motorized artillery. It's going to take about 150 days to complete, and it's going to obviously take even longer to start producing. But as long as we can get our hands on some very fast infantry, I think crossing through all of these mountains won't take as long. Obviously, these guys are walking by foot, which could be definitely greatly improved. Three more days. I might even go to speed five. And it looks like we probably... Italy has capitulated! That is really not good. We have lost an ally. Steamline production has been unlocked. Let us finally begin unlocking the artillery version, or better yet, rocket artillery on the back of these vehicles. 123 days. I definitely don't mind paying that. Looks like we have uh, resistance to occupation in a lot of these areas that we've conquered, especially New Zealand. Let us grab 10 more units. Even though we have 20 that aren't doing anything. And let's put three of you on this island. That's fine. And let's take more of these guys. I would like two units. Or better yet, one is fine. We could put you on this island. Hopefully, maybe. Stand by. We are trying to save as many factories as we can get our hands on. And now, I need some troops on New Zealand. Let's get about six. Put all of you on New Zealand. Yikes. How many do we actually need? Four, and we sent you six. And I believe... I don't know if we've sent anybody here yet. Into... What is this? Fiji? Let's send two units to Fiji. And I hope we don't need that many. Yep, we only need one. And I guess this is most of our resistance. I don't see any other forms. Um, at least for now. The reason why we obviously don't want resistance is we don't want damage to our factories, which will hinder our production. Everybody is moving at a very slow pace. I would even argue that this is a snail space. Field hospitals have been unlocked. Let us get better maintenance companies because we have nothing really better to do. And I guess I could even get 24 more units that we could add to this 48 line. Only want to produce one of them. Obviously, most of them are getting motorized, and it's infantry, and then it's artillery. But I think the speed would be much, much better. If we look at our speed somewhere, usually it would tell us. So, 4 kilometers per hour is how fast we're going. And I think these motorized could probably travel at like 16 miles per hour. So obviously there is a big massive difference. My chair keeps squeaking and I hope the mic isn't picking that up. Uh, naval battles are taking place and it looks like we're not doing as well as we originally were thinking we would. But obviously the Soviet Union doesn't exist anymore. We have some very low supplies. Can we retake Guadalcanal? We're certainly going to try. No divisions. Okay. Um, it's not 1945. 
let's actually get signal companies because we have nothing better to do that means it'll get better planning if we ever obviously go to war with the german reich which i don't see happening but let's say they obviously break our alliance and they try to declare war upon me which i hope never happens they're still dealing with the allies but it looks like we're gonna have to trim them down for ourselves Okay, Guadalcanal is uh, coming along nicely. It says it's only going to last five more days. However, we're weakening them, but are they going to win? It says now it's only going to last two days. I think we are going to take the canal, hopefully. It's not actually a canal. It's just called Guadalcanal. Here it is. Woo! We have landed. So now we have an actual uh, very unique... Uh, set of defense and I do want you to go here. So now we have every little bit and now let's get two units To basically garrison on up our newly conquered territory of Guadalcanal and all we need to do is protect it from resistance Let's add a few more as well Okay, so what can I do we have free civilian factories I have absolutely no idea what to build, so I guess what we're going to do for now is get even more civilian factories. I am going to cry if uh, we lose the civilian factories and the radar dishes and the naval bases that we constructed because, you know, obviously it says we don't have that much war score, and I would be very upset if we don't end up maintaining what we've constructed and kept. But nevertheless, all of these uh, marine units, I guess, can move all the way down here. Let's garrison this up. Are we in the island? I don't know. Yeah, it says we're garrisoning, so that's what we will do. Can we build better infrastructure? Yes, we can. So we will do that. That needs to go to the top. We probably want some better naval bases, which we have. Uh, a level 3 naval base. We now want a level 5. My chair is so squeaky. I'm sorry if you guys are hearing that. But other than that, our actual invasion is finally beginning. Uh, though we are moving just definitely very, very slow. And it's probably a little annoying as well. I'm wondering if we even need artillery. Because I think it's slowing us down. I wonder. We're going 4. If I remove this, and remove this, and remove this... We don't change the speed. Well, that's odd because that's not the uh, correct uh, American troops here. Okay, so right now we're going four. Still going four. What if I trained, changed all of these out to motorized? We now go 12 miles an hour, so three times as fast. And the HP goes down a little bit, heart attack goes down, soft attack goes way, way down, but that's because we lost artillery. Um, but three times the speed, not bad. I think that's what I'm going to do. However, yep, that's what I'm going to do. Let's remove both of these, remove this. Uh, you know what, before I do anything and before I save it, I need more experience. So might as well just do it all at once rather than all at different times. I could get better Mountaineers. Don't think we're going to do it. Uh, I could get better tanks. Probably will do it. It's almost 1944, which absolutely means we can get this better plane. Let's do that now. Unfortunately, we don't have the aluminum we need. But in about a year, we can okay. get jet fighters. Which is going to make things a lot nicer. Unread naval battles again. Victory after victory. Just shooting down and sinking convoys and destroyers and light cruisers. It says we're still fighting. Doesn't feel like it though. But they are marines so they obviously can pass through straits very, very easily. And there we go, Guadalcanal is now ours. Looks like we are fighting off some naval invasions, and I wonder, we haven't necessarily lost any units, but we definitely need supply, we probably need even more naval bases. We have taken all of Alaska, but we are having some trouble 
moving on into Canada. And this is obviously because we're fighting in mountains. And it would be easier if I just had experience. The Pax Americana, that is not looking good. That means everybody inside Mexico, Central America, all of South America, everybody will turn democratic. Let's look at these American troops. I am going to need 40. I think I have enough. Yes, I do, but do I have enough motorized? I now lack 10.5 thousand, but supposedly it's only going to be 49 days until we finally fix that number. And as long as these guys have low equipment priority, then most of these that are being produced will go to the front lines. So now, all 48 of you are going to move a heck of a lot faster, and they are going to need uh, maintenance companies. American and maintenance companies require 10 army experience, but the reason why that's so good is they obviously don't lose uh, nearly as much, um, you know, motorized equipment. You know, they get more reliability. They don't break down in the mud, uh, and obviously we don't need to produce as many. How long until our um, artillery base, our rocket artillery, Motorized. It's going to be in about 35 days. Here comes the recon company. We now have better binoculars. We are going to be getting even stronger recon companies. Getting even better reconnaissance. Okay, we have a coup in Romania. I wonder what happened. I don't see any fighting. They are still fascist. They were probably democratic, but then changed to fascist. But obviously, if they were democratic, they wouldn't exist. So they changed to fascist probably a few years ago. We have more free civilian factories. I have no idea what to even build. Um, could I get radar dishes? I could. Probably going to build a level 6 radar dish there. Level 6 radar dish there. Uh, probably getting one inside South Korea. And I suppose building one in New Zealand, actually. Building one in Fiji is probably our best option. And I guess we can build one in Australia because I have nothing better to do. I get that that's not Australia. Okay. I wonder if I want one here. Probably not. We'll see in time. Now, Germany wants to lend lease me. I don't think I do. Everybody is now traveling a heck of a lot faster, which is really nice to see. We have free civilian factories again. I guess what we're going to do is just max out our uh, civilian factories. Like I said, I don't plan on going to war with anybody else, uh, and I lack the resources to basically produce more dockyards. Okay, well, at least they will obviously do some repairs. I wonder if we can do a invasion of San Diego. We probably could. Can all 20 of you basically pr begin preparing a naval invasion of... I would like to do Los Angeles, but San Diego is all the way at the bottom. So that way we can do like a pincer formation. And it says we lack access to the western seaboard. Can we get a change? Where is the Pacific Fleet? Still with 49 ships. None have really been sunk. Western Seaboard, Northwest Coast, and I have nowhere else to really send you, so I guess uh, the North Pacific. And that is going to take a very long time, but nevertheless, we can wait because I don't mind. All of our motorized are definitely uh, being held back. Are we still building up our infrastructure? Not really. Let's build that up a little bit more. Let's build all of this up as much as we can. And the reason why this is going so slow is we have these mountains and it's obviously in the snow. So not only is it mountains, but uh, division speed is minus 25% and they have less attack. 
Now, once we begin our invasion of San Diego, we will eventually go into Los Angeles. And then they might e easily capitulate fairly soon. Okay. All ten of these units now need a new battle plan. You are going to go from there to there. Activate when you are ready to go. All ten of you seem to be doing a good job on your own. Will we arrive in time? I wonder how long this will take. Seven days. Oh, my goodness. Well, at least now we have rocket artillery. Um, could get better mountaineers. Don't really need them. Could get better logistics companies. Don't really need them. Let's get our final carrier. And then the Tahio class. Tahio class. And the reason why I say that is because we could use all of our Navy experience to continually improve our carriers, giving them more deck space, giving them more range, more speed, more armor. Uh, looks like we're running into some trouble here. You know, all we really need is, I don't think they're gonna have too many tanks. Uh, I don't see any tanks. How many motorized are we behind? Only 5.1 thousand, so we're only down about 22 days worth. Yikes, we definitely need infantry equipment. Um, can we cancel these tanks altogether? Do we, we lack 3.4 thousand, so I don't think I will. You know what? We could actually trade with the German Reich now that we touch lands. Where are you? Do they want to trade? Where is the German Reich? They probably have a closed economy. Yeah, they don't want to trade. Huh. Well, nevertheless, looking at our production, two of these need to be changed to rocket artillery. And you need to be changed to rocket artillery. And obviously, it's, the production is going to go way down, but that is fine. Uh, we are now going to look at our divisions again. You are going to be rocket artillery, motorized rocket artillery. And now we should have a massive surplus. Nope, still don't have a massive surplus. 232 motorized divisions are still missing. More research slots. I guess we will get another maintenance company. Actually... Let's get a better naval bomb. Actually, let's begin working on tactical bombers. That way we can get closer and closer to our jet tactical bombers. And actually, now that we're in 1944, we probably could get jet bombers. Or at least start working on jet engines. Well, everything is going very slowly, even on speed 5. I could get better landing craft, which would mean faster naval invasions. You need to go from here all the way to this island. Activate when you're ready. Everybody else is basically preparing for some massive battle. <laughs> Somewhere, somehow. But obviously we're, you know, taking back most of the Pacific. We already have almost all of it. A lot of radar being constructed, a lot of industry. Infrastructure is being worked on as well. Though, uh, I wonder what our biggest issue is. Do we still have 48 units? Yes, we do. I wonder why this isn't working nearly as well as we thought it would. What is, what's our issue? Um, we are fighting in the mountains, which is probably the biggest issue. We have less attack and less air support. Movement's cost within this terrain is two. So that means we lose more units moving through the mountains. I wonder, can I auto-add all of these units? Probably, and I think I will. All 24 of you will add to this division. All 72 of you will now make your way to the front line. And I say the same. Let us go ahead, add our, our maintenance companies. And how much do we lack? Do we lack any support equipment? No, we don't. We lack motorized artillery and we lack motorized. Actually, we finally have a surplus, but it seems like we lack a lot. Still moving across, still doing a fantastic job. Now that we have more speed. Some new units are making their way over, though most of them are green. Hopefully a little bit of combat will give them some experience. 
Alright, almost got our new planes. I still need to get our naval bomber. I still need to get our new light like, cruiser. You can only get five things at once. Actually, only four. No, I lied. We have five research. Uh, unlike a lot of other companies, they only have four. But then again, other countries don't necessarily need to worry about their navies. Uh, obviously, with Japan, you need to worry about the Air Force, the Army, and the Navy. Like, if you look at the USSR, they barely have a Navy. But then again, they don't even exist anymore. So, cool story, bro. Italy is being retaken and liberated. Naval battle after naval battle. Looks like we sunk a destroyer. All I really want to do is take one unit and basically liberate or reconquer all of these territories. The rest of our units are slowly making their way over. Slowly. It says it's going to be 10 days. I don't even know if they're moving. Can we still build infrastructure? Not really. We've maxed out whatever we can. There is our new bomber. Let's get an even better bomber, the 1940 version. Eventually, we are going to need to start researching uh, jet engines, and therefore, we're going to need rockets. Signal companies, level one, finally being unlocked. Free civilian, free military factories again. I have no idea what to even build. I could get a bunch of synthetic refineries, but I don't think I will. I'm just going to max out on all of my civilian factories, because I really have nothing else to build. All of China is mine. Might as well build them on up. Tibet is mine. Um, and Mongolia and Xinjiang. Though India is not, which is a little frightening. And Taiwan is mine as well. Our invasion of Canada seems to be going well. Uh, free military slots, not going to worry about it. We now need to absolutely start working on our better rocket engines, so that way, that way we can get our jet engines. Free military, uh, factories, lacking steel, lacking everything. <laughs> so we can't build any airplanes and nothing else. We can't build anything with rubber, tungsten, and chromium. Those are just support items. Here comes our invasion of San Diego. Can it happen? That is our question. Yikes, I wonder if it just failed. Probably. Well, we do have a lot of units, but I'm wondering, would it be better to execute a balance plan? Because that way they're only going to fight with a lot of organization, and they're, they're obviously going to continue fighting. But uh, the best way is obviously slow and steady. Let's get better excavation, meaning more steel. Everything else will finally uh, come on in as well. Can we? Do we need any type of supplies? Yes. Why do we need supplies? Now, what's our issue? Is Well, obviously, I know why we need supplies, but our issue is infrastructure, and that can be repaired. But very slowly. <laughs> or better, very quickly, I guess. That was done. Okay. All right, what can I do? It seems like we have found ourselves in a small predicament. Are all of these units still lacking experience? Most of them are, but then again, most of them aren't even where they need to be. And it looks like a lot of them have preparation and planning. Outdated equipment in production again. We now have a new fighter. The Fighter 3. I could go ahead and obviously upgrade some of my planes. But I think what I'm going to do is save them for my jet fighters. And then upgrade all of our air experience into those. Because I think how it works is we got a 1945 jet fighter and then a 1950. The United Kingdom is still nowhere near falling, and it looks like Norway is protecting themselves very well. 
Recon Company has been unlocked. Uh, not 1945 yet. I think we're finally going to get our new cruiser. Our light cruiser. 1944. How much more speed does it have? Two more miles an hour. It has more manpower. And it has almost 10% more range. So I think we will do that. Akatsuma class. Naval battle after naval battle after naval battle. And surprisingly enough, this didn't work. There are no units assigned to this order. That doesn't make sense. Well, we're going in again. I wonder if this time we have more organization. I think what happens is because it's so far away, we lose organization as the days go by. Maybe not. I guess not. As long as we have better infrastructure... That isn't going to happen as often. Okay, free military factories again. Nothing I can do about that. We are running out of manpower, but I think once we deal with the U.S., uh, the United Kingdom won't be very hard to take out after that. Obviously, Canada will fall as well. But what's our issue? I wonder if we could do something like this. No. It doesn't seem to be working that well. And I guess the reason why we're not doing well is we need equipment, or we need steel for our infantry equipment. Let's build as many as we can, push those to the top, build as many as we can, and push those to the top. So now our goal is maybe after our next light cruiser, let's try to save some steel. We need 45, and obviously we can save all of this. Well, what have I done? Awkward. Um, the one that's almost done... And we'll, we'll worry about it later. <laughs> Victory, victory, victory. I am pretty much ready for this campaign to be over. Our invasion of Canada seems to have stopped. But it's because we're lacking infrastructure. And I don't know how to improve it. I could obviously get better preparation. And it's supposedly we're still making our way over. I don't even know if we're really going anymore. Yeah, we are, but very, very slowly. Activate again. Everybody seems to be falling in their place. Falling on their face. But I think the reason why is we're lacking infantry equipment. And I don't know how to get that. Obviously, we're producing more. Uh, I wonder if going like this and going like this would save us the steel we need. Yes, it will. Putting that to the top. Are we losing more infantry equipment than we can produce? I think we are. Rocket engines have been unlocked. Let's get our jet engines. And you know what? Maybe, you know, not producing as many carriers might not be such a bad idea anymore. Um, I get that this could be our last light cruiser because all we really need... We've got a big navy... All we really need to do is produce motorized and produce weapons. And you know what? We're probably going to need uh, more and more weapons factories or military factories. And you know what? Maybe even pushing those to the top might not be a bad idea. Okay, uh, we have stopped pushing. Can you go this way? Yes, you can, but you are very slow. 26 days. Oh, my goodness. But as long as we can obviously take off uh, most of the globe. <laughs> this is going to be a slugfest. I can feel it. All right, well, I guess I am going to end this episode. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you all have an awesome day.
and I will see you in our next adventure.